Uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for joining me today um, with this video, which is about making homemade red wine vinegar. 1998, I've been making homemade red wine vinegar with homemade vinegar. And I've been following a recipe. Homemade red wine vinegar has been in my family for years. I remember my grandparents and my parents using homemade red wine vinegar for many things. Not only in a salad, but if they had a cold, they would gargle with it. Uh, my dad used to, my dad and my mom, they'd take a shower and then they'd rinse their hair with vinegar. I don't know why, but that's what they did. Um, when they rinse their vegetables, their final rinse would be with some homemade red wine vinegar. So, this is the recipe. You get an empty gallon, like this. Somebody gives you a bottle of homemade wine vinegar. The mother is in there. You may not be able to see it, but it's in there. If you let it sit for several weeks, you'll see the mother eventually forming at the bottom and then it comes up to the top. So, in an empty gallon, you put one bottle of homemade wine vinegar, two bottles of your favorite red wine, and one bottle of water. Put them into the gallon, cover the gallon with a cloth, a towel, cheesecloth, whatever you want, secure it with an elastic, put it in a dark closet, about 65 or 70 degrees and you have to check it every couple of weeks for the taste. Check it for the multiplication of the mothers. If too many mothers develop like this one in, the, in this gallon, well, you know, you gotta rack it out. The vinegar will be as good as the wine you add to it. You never put this in a wine cellar. Never, ever put vinegar in a wine cellar. So if you take a bottle of vinegar out, let's say you take a bottle like that of vinegar out, you can replace it with two-thirds of the bottle of wine and one-third of water, and it will keep reproducing. So that yesterday, April 30th, 2020, marked the 64th year that my mom, my brother, and me came to this wonderful country to join our father, who had come uh, about a year and a half before us. Once the vinegar tastes the way you like it, you can get the mother out, put it in your garden, and then you can use the um, gallon again. But if you let that mother stay in there for too long, it's going to keep multiplying and it's going to be real, well, you can't get it up. On and on and on. 